Okay, so I, I just mentioned in that previous video, now the wife and I have made the decision to move home, so that's going to obviously have a bit of an impact on my pelagoniums. Um, now I have made the decision that after moving, I am not going to take this huge great glass house with me, and primarily that is because, firstly, we're moving to a place with a much smaller garden. Um, now I've got a, this is a 12 and a half by 20 glass house. It's a very big glass house, and I'm not going to have the room for this in my new, in my new, uh, in the new garden that we've got that comes with our new house. It was primarily part of the reason why we're moving, to be quite honest. Um, plus the fact this glass house has been moved twice, and I know there's a corner of it that wouldn't be able to withstand another move anyway. So um, that, that sort of tied that situation down. I'm still going to have a glass house, um, and you may now be able to answer the question as to why I have got quite empty benches here, really, relatively speaking. Um, because the new glass house, I'm going to take what was my old prop. My ugh, I'm going to take what was my old propagation house, my six by fourteen, which is obviously a lot smaller, uh, which was my old propagation house when I run Gosbrook Pelagoniums, and that one is coming with me. I've dismantled that, and that is going to come. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to grow anything near as much as I've got here, but I will hopefully be able to keep a few, all of the different types growing, but it will mostly be sort of dwarfs, miniatures, the odd regal and the odd basic. That's really what it's going to be. I mean, it's a long glass house, very small in terms of width, but it's quite long, 14 foot. Uh, but yeah, obviously the number of plants that I'm going to be able to grow is going to be much reduced. But I will still continue to do these videos. I will obviously be in a much smaller area uh, but I will still continue to do them. I've still got my expertise and I think I've still got plenty to give, certainly as far as the Pelagonium and Geranium Society is concerned. And I hope that I can still, uh, you know, have a, a good standard of growing, even in a much smaller glass house. It will be heated. Um, I will probably do some videos of showing where my plants will initially be kept, because they're initially going to be kept in a garage, actually. Um, I will have to have a heater in there because I have never ever moved in the winter before. We are actually moving around about the turn of the year, maybe first sort of around about the first weekend in January, and I have never have actually ever moved in the winter before. So that's going to be an interesting scenario. I've always moved in the summer, so the pelagoniums have all been able to come along, they've been able to be kept outside, no issues at all. But obviously, moving in the early part of January is going to be a completely different scenario. So they're going to be able to be, they're going to need to be kept under cover. So they're all going to be crated up. They'll be, when the weather's very cold and, say, wet, they'll be kept in the garage. I'll keep them all crated up. They'll be moved out into the air when the uh, weather allows. Hopefully that'll be quite often, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so that, that's what's going to be happening. Um, I will obviously, as soon as I can, get my new glass house set up. Um, I'm going to be hopefully sorting that in late January, uh, maybe into early February. Uh, so you know, I'm going to be busy you know, ensuring that I get that glass house set up as soon as possible to enable my plants to get into the light. Because obviously, in the mid-winter period, they're not really growing anyway. So uh, the main key thing that will be for me is to keep the frost off them, keep the cold weather off them, uh, but making sure they get enough light just to sort of keep them alive. Yeah, now, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be going on holiday, um, virtually up to Christmas. Uh, I've got a big decadal birthday coming up next month, which I'm going to be away for. I'll let you decide what you think that might be. Um, so that'll then be Christmas. We then have to be preparing for moving. Um, and then we will move. And I'll perhaps put one or two videos showing you where my plants are and that sort of thing in their garage home, their temporary garage home. As far as this glass house goes, it's almost certainly the last time uh, because of the fact that I'm going on holiday and uh, there's a lot going on, this will be the last time that I do 
uh, a Pelagonian video from this glass house. So that's it for now. Um, as I say, I'll almost certainly give a report when my plants are in their new temporary home in a garage. I'll sort of show you what's going on with them and how I'm sort of trying to keep them going during periods of uh, quite cold weather or indeed periods of more airy weather where I can get them all outside a bit to give them a bit of air. That is one of the only problems with the UK. You really do not know what the weather is going to be like. Some years it can be mild, breezy and dry. Other years it can be very wet. Other years it can be very cold. Um, last year winter we did have a relatively cold winter. So you never know in the UK what you're going to get. So um, it will, I'm hopeful, and here's hoping, fingers crossed, that um, the weather is relatively kind in January and um, I can get them out to get a bit of air, get them out of a, a dark garage to get them a bit of light around their gills uh, to carry on. But um, So from this greenhouse, that is going to be it. So all it remains for me to do is to wish you all the best for Christmas and the New Year and I'll hopefully see you in my new environment early in the New Year when I show you what's going on. Uh, and then we'll do my, uh, an introduction with my, in my new greenhouse when it's set up, hopefully late January, early February. But I'll keep you updated during January anyway. So goodbye for now and goodbye from this greenhouse. So see you again.